Yeah, in the jungle, a fight getting into their huddle. Let's have a look at their lineup. Antoine Gooden will be in goal. Back four. Left back Brandon Bonis, right back Ramon Francis, O'Neill Headley and Tavon Coleman at the centre of their defence. Jason White, Kyle Gordon, their captain and attacking midfielder along with Tayshaun Rowe in the middle. Cummings on the left side of their forward line, Nyron Allen on the right and Doreen Watson, the central point of their attack. Andrew Peart is the head coach of this Glenmuir High team. How about Kingston College? Today they start without their leading goal scorer Demario Daly who has scored 14 goals. Malik Williams remains in goal though. Damien Smith, Robert Sow who netted a double from the penalty spot in their quarter-final encounter. O'Neill Bryant, Roger Simonis, Darnell Edwards, Kimani Reese, Dewan Green, Jaheim McLean, Alex Islop and Kamal Patterson. They are coached by Fasser Reynolds. Like Glenmuir did in their Da Costa Cup semi-final. They will determine the direction of this one from the penalty spot. Dijon Richards looks uninterested. Feels he would have finished it long ago. He did a year ago. It's 1-1 at full time. Let's have a look at the match highlights then, shall we? Alexei Perry getting the contest underway. Kingston College. Early ball from a corner kick. Robert Siao arriving at the back post. Couldn't curl it on target. Siao couldn't chest that one away. Kyle Gordon had a glorious opportunity to make it 1-0 for Glenmuir. He fired over the top. Glenmuir would have the lead though. Brilliant work done in the 16th minute by Cummings. Finally laying it off to Brandon Wallace and Wallace delivered a beauty. Only his second goal of the season, but a critical one in a massive game. Malik Williams not in the best position to deal with that. Back into the back of the net. What minute it was to Glenn Muir. Red Nation in a frenzy in the 16th minute. Kingston College would respond immediately though, first with this opportunity to Alex Hislop, his header well saved by Antoine Gooden, but only seconds later the equaliser came, layoff by Jaheim McLean, the left footed strike from Darnell Edwards taking a deflection and beating Antoine Gooden to his left, 1-1 one, one in the 16th minute after Glenn Muir had taken a 14th minute lead. KC fan quite delighted. Darnell Edwards delighted as well with his second goal of the season. Set in the first half. Kemal Patterson with a right footed shot from range. Skipping wide of the target. Arain Watson with his left footed strike. Saved by Malik Williams. Corner kick at the start of the second half. Headed on by Arain Watson. From another wonderful Anil Hedley delivery. Glenn Muir had much of the better of this second half. They had the better opportunities as well. There was a great one for Tavon Coleman left alone at the back post from another beautiful Anil. Hit the delivery. Kyle Gordon with this free kick just over the top. And then Kingston College's best opportunity. Closest one of the second half. Crossbar not falling their way. Cummings inside to Gordon. Gordon's shot magnificently blocked. He couldn't believe it. So, 
one one is how they ended match statistics Glenmuir 16 shots six on target 11 shots for KC two on target 55 percent of the possession to Kingston College to Glenmuir sorry for the a possibility for both Glenmuir and Clarendon College and come this Saturday one and only one will remain in contention for the coveted three final score from the Anthony Spaulding Sports Complex one on after full time Glenmuir beat Kingston College 5-3 on penalties here's another look back Kyle Gordon starting things off for Glenmuir Malik Williams had a chance diving away to his right but couldn't come up with the save it was too well placed by the Glenmuir captain that was 1-0 Robert Tiao the Kingston College captain going to the left of Antoine Gooden who applauded the kick because it was a brilliant one Tiao ending his wonderful game yeah Jason White for Glenn Muir and then this miss from Jaheim McLean going down the middle and couldn't read it well it was well saved and then Brandon Wallace would step up to complete it there's another look at the miss or the save whichever way you look at it staying home staying strong staying firm Williams trying to save KC season he had no chance Brandon Wallace finishing and Glenn Muir. Thank you Ricardo, I'm joined by Carisha Ferguson. She'll be giving the Waterman of the Match award to this Glenn Muir young man, a finalist, a Champions Cup finalist. A very well deserved, thank you. Thank you, Brandon Wallace, the man of the match. All right, Brandon, let me have a quick chat with you, sir. You're in the final of the Champions Cup. It's going to be a Clarendon Derby. How excited are you to play against? I feel so happy. Um, come out tonight, play my game, and feel so happy. Um, in terms of the game plan Coach Peart would have given you coming into this game, what did he tell you before going on the pitch? He said, go out there, put the ball, and play the football. In terms of the goal that you scored, how pleased are you that you got the winner? I have nothing to say. No words. All right, Brandon, all the best in the final. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Brandon Wallace there of Glenmuir High. I'll be joined now by Coach Vassal Reynolds of Kingston College. He makes his way into... Yeah, in the jungle, a fight.